Guys, I hate making videos like this. It's 2020. No one else, no one needs more crap in their lives, right? But, uh, YouTube decided to hand me and my friends some crap on a silver platter today. Or, yesterday. As you can see, my friend RoosterTie69 got terminated. Not striked, terminated. Three strikes all at once. Community guidelines strikes. And apparently it was for inappropriate stuff. But, uh, here's the thing. He was striked for a Japanese toilet meme and in a Hegao special. Yeah, this is not cool. And if you guys want a little background into why this is so important to me, I'm making a video about it. We kind of go all the way back, or at least as far back as this channel. Because he actually commented on my first song, uh, maybe a couple days after I posted it. Now, obviously, the comment isn't still there because his channel is gone. But he said, I would really like to collaborate with you. And at the time, he was about the same size I was. We were both around like 50 to 70 subscribers or so. And so we collaborated for four videos. One of which being the Megalovania remix that was the most popular thing either of us had done. We were truly the JT and Timbaland of the degenerate world. So yeah, he was a good friend of mine and we uh, definitely helped each other out. Really disappointing news for me. Anyway though, I'm about to go from hat mode to tinfoil mode because I'm going to start guessing why this happened. You see, also yesterday, a little earlier, I got this uh, nice little email from YouTube saying change to the terms of service. It says, YouTube's right to monetize. YouTube has the right to monetize all content on the platform and ads may appear on videos from channels not in the YouTube partner program. He was indeed not in the partner program. So, what I suspect is that they're starting to remove videos that they consider demonetizable, even if it's not in the partner program at all. If they're going to start monetizing all the videos, it makes sense they don't want videos that are going to get less ad revenue and in general just be harder to market. But that's my theory. I know Twitter... <laughs> Honestly, I hate Twitter. It's a horrible website. But it's probably the best way to reach out to YouTube because their appeal system sucks. So he's had a Twitter for a little while and he decided to get back on it to make a little bit of a stink about this and uh, ping them and start this little hashtag movement. Free H69. I'm not, I'm not going to say the word because I'm honestly a little terrified. Anyway, he tried to make a little bit of a stink. I tried to help him out too. Yeah, they basically said they weren't going to do anything about it. And they couldn't give more info because people who break the rules might be watching. <gasps> but yeah, essentially they told him to take a hike because he's not big enough to really cause that much of a stink on Twitter, sadly. Because this reminds me of another person a couple months ago who had the same thing happen to him. A little YouTuber by the name of HeartVigin who also got terminated all at once, three strikes all at once. And uh, he basically had to plead and beg YouTube to bring him back. And thankfully, he also had a large fan base to help. My boy over here does not have that. So, I know it's a horrible platform, but if you guys could help a little bit with this, that would be amazing. Please. Please. I also hate to plug myself, but uh, following me on Twitter would also probably help. Just in the very likely event that this also happens to me at some point. Because you can never be too careful with YouTube. Anyway, that's all I have to say. See you guys later.